Welcome to another of my tutorials. This one is on uh, box modeling in 3ds Max. Uh, we'll box model a machine gun and use Photoshop or GIMP uh, for the texture maps. Go to my website and you will uh, there you can find all the project files for 3ds Max, Photoshop and GIMP and at the bottom of the page you can find all of the um, the read uh, tutorials. Once the gun is modeled um, I'll just preview all the textures here. The first one is the normal map and of course after that comes the color map or, or diffuse map. Uh, the spec specular ref reflection map and the opacity map for the holes in the barrel there. I'll briefly show you the basics of modeling um, the gun. Uh, I will move uh, the one that's already modeled up and out of the way. And we're just using boxes and cylinders. Uh, we'll go to box first, make sure auto grid is on, and you can draw on the background a plane object that has a picture. And you can also go to a cylinder, auto grid on, and then you can draw the cylinder on the um, box and then position it. And just to show you, uh, convert it to an editable poly. And using inset is how we're going to uh, inset and extrude is how we're going to get each barrel segment. And this is the first tutorial on my website, so uh, check it out. My second tutorial will be uh, UVW unwrapping the model. And that's basically uh, taking all the parts, all the surface areas, and uh, you can see the gun barrel segments here, and lay laying them out and scaling them until all the squares are nice and even. And then you would want to uh, render it to a template render UV template and save as a PNG file and that'll be your template for Photoshop and GIMP. I'll quickly go through the normal map tutorial. Uh, we already have the template uh, loaded. loaded. Um, and all of the um, normal uh, parts which are either black, white, or gray. The black is pushed in. We'll make the, the model areas pushed in and the white will be pushed out. See, you can see the white uh, rivets. They'll pop out as, as rivets. And just to turn it to a normal map, you collapse it all and go to the normal map filter. Um, just make sure you have the normal map filter installed. Okay, you save it. It's already saved here. I'll show you what it looks like on the model. It'll be the bump, uh, normal bump. And you see the rivets popping out and uh, everything else. Uh, and that's all extra detail done just by the normal map, uh, which is e easy to make. I'll briefly show you what the diffuse tutorial is about, or, or color map. Uh, we, we use um, uh, the normal map layers. 
and you'll see one I've already got there, but I, I've emptied it. It has inner glow and outer, outer glow. And you go to one of your um, normal map layers. I'll go to the indents layer. Use the magic wand, select uh, inverse, and close that. Go to the color base, which is a gray color. Copy, and then paste into the color indents layer and the diffuse group. Now you'll see the uh, inner glow and outer glow come out. Uh, put a blur on it. And the inner glow will simulate um, like dirt because it's the indented, uh, pushed in area of the normal map. And the outer glow will simulate chip paint. And that'll look good once we get to the specular map. Okay, let's jump to the uh, finished diffuse uh, layer or group of layers. Basically what you do is you collapse them all and copy uh, them up above the diffuse group and you make um, cutouts of it with the magic wand and delete button. And that's basically the almost the end except for the edges. And the edges have a uh, inner glow and that's based on the um, template. And if we apply the finished, um, if we flatten that and save it, and save it to uh, the 3ds Max, you can see the how the color map looks on the model. The specular map tutorial is uh, an easy one. Just make a layer and fill it with black above the um, uh, diffuse layers. Oh, yeah, you can actually collapse all the diffuse layers there. And go to select uh, color range and select the white areas of one of the rivets. And you get all the highlights or some of them selected and you just uh, go to your specular layer and fill with white and you'll get your specular map and now if we uh, apply it to the model and uh, orbit around it you'll see how shiny it gets where the uh, chip paint is uh, simulated. And you can see around around here how it looks like uh, shiny steel. Let's zoom in here and take a better look. Uh, you can see how realistic the uh, chip paint is, and that's the way we want it to look. For the opacity layer, uh, fill it with white, and you just copy uh, the holes from the indents layer and paste it into the opacity layer. And load it in 3ds Max, and when you apply it, you get uh, transparent holes in the first uh, barrel segment. And rotate around that, and with the specular and color map, and now the opacity looks pretty uh, realistic now.
go to my website to uh, read my uh, tutorials. In this video, I'll, I just gave you a brief um, introduction.